Texans and the Ravens. Um, this was actually a good game for the first half. Yeah. Uh, they they go into halftime tied. Um, 10, 10, 10. 10 all. Um, it just looked like uh, the Texans were able to get pressure on Lamar. He was sacked three times in the first half. Yeah. And you could tell, like, as he's going into, like, the locker room and stuff, that he was he was frustrated with, with how the, the game was going. And we talked about it. You know, how are they going to come out, you know, basically sitting for three weeks? Yeah. You, you're going to have some rust. You're going to come out slow. And that's exactly what happened. Um, they they just didn't look like the Ravens who had been playing at the you know the end of the season where they were just clicking on all cylinders. Yeah. Um, but then they obviously something shifted at halftime and they just came out and then looked th- like the number one seed. I mean, I think it was just how good their defense was playing. I mean, I think I saw a stat. There was the Texans had a big run, I, th- I believe, in the third quarter, and I think up to that point they maybe had twenty. 22 yards rushing. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I know everybody gives or saying Lamar's going to be the MVP, which he probably is, but their offense is very dependent on their defense. Yeah. Because uh, that de- their defense is insufferable. I mean, so, you I mean, they only gave up 213 total yards. And you don't see that a lot in, in the NFL. In the games. NFL, and especially in the playoffs. Yeah. And, and on top of that, is like you had a Texans team that was like red hot coming mm-hmm. in. And like and like we said, they had, and the Ravens have been sitting for pretty much three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they just come out and like you said, sometimes your defense allows your offense to figure it out, mm-hmm. and that's the type of team that the Ravens have. Is like if if both sides are clicking, they're going to blow you out. But if they're not, you know, the defense is consistent every single game to where yeah. they're like, all right, mm-hmm. we're going to hold them. Y'all figure it out and let's win this game. Yeah, and I know there are maybe not question marks about Lamar going into this game because the last time I believe they were in this position, uh, they laid a dud against the right. Bills. I think this is the uh, – he's this will probably be the second time he's won MVP, but he's never been to a conference championship game. Yeah. So this will be the first time he's, he's made it to the AFC championship game. Yeah. So um, – Kind of a lot of firsts this weekend um, with yeah. these MVP quarterbacks. Yeah, um, but, yeah a I big mean, win for the Ravens, though. I think yeah. they're they're going to be tough to beat. That um, defense, man, it's just kind of it's kind of how they usually are when they win, right. or they go far in the playoffs, or go to the Super Bowl. Their defense, man, just they're just so good. The I crazy mean, thing is, they're is everywhere. Like, Throughout the regular season, everyone kind of pointed to the NFC as being the most exciting to watch. Mm-hmm. And, okay, it's going to be crazy once we get to the playoffs because of the NFC. Yeah. And and it was like the AFC, we don't really know who's the best. Like the Chiefs were kind of floundering for a little while. The yeah. Bills, they barely made it into the playoffs and then got the second seed. Yeah. Uh, the Ravens kind of turned it on at the end of the year. And now it's kind of set up. It's like, all right, you had that Bills-Chiefs game, which was great. Now you're set up for the the Ravens Chiefs game, which is billed to be great. Yeah. Um. So it kind of flipped. Is like all season was like the mm-hmm. NFC is going to be the ones, and now it's like all right, the AFC is the one that's giving us the best yeah. games. Uh. So I mean that was like I said, it was a good game to to set up the divisional round. Um. And then you roll into Packers 49ers and. <laughs> that was a tough one. You had to behave. I had to behave. <laughs> uh, I was at my cousin's house. He's a diehard 49ers fan. I wish that we would have checked his blood pressure throughout the game because, mm. I mean, he had to be teetering on cardiac arrest. It's like in the in the PJ where they have the whoop bands on. Yeah. And they have, like, live data. They'll pull up on the screen, uh, and it'll show, like, their heart rate and stuff. If you want to check out more of our NFL review of the divisional round, click here. And if you want to check out our preview for conference championships, click here. And if you want to see any more of our content, NFL, college, or anything sports-related, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share.